Yep, I needed that crab apple, just in case. It's a poster from Madton's latest stage performance. A tragic tale of two stars, cross lovers, kept apart by tides of fate. Looking like it's almost time for the performance. Okay. God dang it. There's no safe spot either. That human, no, no, could it be? My one true love. Oh God, no, no, no. <sighs> oh God. <sighs> I really don't know. I'm good. I'm good. <sighs> Let me know what's over. Yay. Are we done? So sad. So sad that you are going to the dungeon. Well, toodles. Oh no, whatever shall I do? My love has been cast away into the dungeon. A dungeon with a puzzle so disastrously, my paranormal will surely perish. Oh god damn it, it's an actual puzzle from the thing. Oh heavens have mercy, the horrible color tile maze. Each color tile has its own sadistic function. For example, a green tile shoots a noise, and then you must fight a monster. Red tiles will actually wait a second. Didn't we see this puzzle a hundred rooms ago? That's right, you remember all the rules, don't you? Great! Now won't waste your time repeating them. Oh, and you better hurry. Because if you don't get through in 30 seconds, you'll be in history by these jets of fire. Ah! Dang it, what? Hmm? Robotic call off. Ring? Watch out, I saved you. I'm hacking into the firewall right now. Ha! I don't know how could this have happened. For tooled again by a brilliant Dr. Alpheus. That's right, come on, Metaton. Give up already. You'll never be able to defeat us, not as long as we work together. Your puzzle's over, now go home and leave us alone. Puzzle over? Alphonse, darling, what are you talking about? Did you forget what the green tiles do? They make a sound and then you have to fight a monster. Well, darling, that monster is me. You yell, nothing happens. Hey, this seems bad, but don't worry. There's one last thing I installed on your phone. You see that yellow button? Go to this phone's act menu and press it. You press the yellow button. The phone is resonating with Metaton's presence. Is that it, darling? Say goodbye. <laughs> uh, 
Now press Z. Oh, oh, you defeated me. How can this be? We're stronger than I thought, etc. Whatever. Ring. Looks like you beat him. You, you did a really good job out there. All thanks to you. What? Uh, no, I mean, you weren't the one doing everything cool. I just wrote some silly programs for your phone. Hey, this is, might be sound strange, but c c can I say something? Before I met you, I didn't really... I didn't really like myself very much. For a long time, I felt like a total screw up. Like I couldn't have done the thing without you. Without you ending up like everyone down. But, but guiding you has made me feel a, a lot better about myself. So thank you for letting me help you. Uh, um, anyways, we're almost to the core. It's just past my MTMT resort. Come on, let's get finish this. Please tell me there's a safe spot. I've been at this for 20 minutes now. There needs to be a safe spot somewhere. Ice cream guy. Fine, I'll buy some ice cream. Hey, it's you again. This is excellent here. There are two fellas bought all my ice cream. I've actually sold out of everything. Sorry, wait. I still got something for you. A big smile. How about that? Fuck off. No. That's an elevator. I guess I gotta go up. Um, so this might be a two-parter. Um, if I'm talking to you right now about part two, I'll let you know, but, um, at this point, I haven't saved in quite a while, and it's way past what a 15-minute episode would be, so I might just bring this into you. Hey, I heard you go into the core. How about grabbing some dinner with me first? Sure. Great. Thanks for treating me. Over here. I know, Shortcut. Well... Here we are. So, your journey's almost over, huh? You must really want to go home. Hey, I know the feeling, but, though, maybe sometimes it's just better to take what's given to you. Down here, you've got, you've got food, drink, friends. Is that what you have to do? Really worth it? Ah, uh, forget it. I'm rooting for you, kid. Hey, let me tell you a story. So I'm a s century in Stone Forest, right? I sailed there and watched for humans. It's kind of boring. Fortunately, deep in the forest, there's this huge locked door. And it's first practicing knock knock jokes. So one day I'm knocking them out, like usual. I knock on the door and say knock knock. And suddenly, from the other side, I hear a woman's voice. Who is there? So naturally, I respond, dishes. This is who? This is a very bad joke. Then she startles with laughter. I like it's the best joke she's heard in a hundred years. So I kept them coming and she kept laughing. She's the best audience I've ever had. Then, after a dozen of them, she knocks and says, Knock knock! I say, who's there? Oh lady! Oh lady who? Oh, I didn't know you could yodel. Oh, wow. <laughs> Needs to say, this woman was extremely good. We kept telling her jokes for hours. Eventually, I had to leave. But I was kind of cranky without his bedtime story. He told me I'd come back again, so I did. And then again, again, again. And it's the thing now. Telling bad jokes through the door. It's rules. One day, I noticed she wasn't laughing very much. I asked her what was up. Then she told me something strange. If a human ever comes through the store, could you please, please promise something? Watch over them and protect them. Will you not? No, I hate making promises. And this woman, I don't even know her name, but someone who sincerely likes bad jokes has an integrity you can't say no to. Do you get what I'm saying? That promise I made to her. You know what would have happened if she hadn't said anything, buddy? You'd be dead where you stand. Hey, lighten up, bucko. I'm just joking with you. Besides, haven't I done a great job protecting you? I mean, look at yourself. 
<laughs> you haven't died a single time. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Am I wrong? Yeah. Well, so I'll take care of yourself, kid, because someone really cares about you. And he's gone. Oh, there's the bird. I'm the resort comedian. I'm very funny. People laugh at my jokes. Now, my son. He wants to be a comedian like his father. But his jokes aren't funny. He tells them awful puns. He's an embarrassment to our family. Ha. Is that funny? Sister's <laughs> mother. Aww. Aww. Okay. So, I will save it here. This will be a two-parter episode, unfortunately. Um, I, I didn't mean to drag it on this long, but that was the only safe point I could find. So, um, As always, guys, uh, if you like my videos, slap a like. If you want to keep on watching them, subscribe today, either down at the bottom or at the end of uh, the video here, and keep on gaming. Keep on having fun. And as always... Oh yes, keep on gaming, and let's play. That's better. <laughs>